Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to another episode of the One Word series, where we look at the impact of a single word on an ayah from the Quran. Today's ayah is from Surah Nuh, verse number seven. Allah subhanahu wa taala He says, "Wa inni kullama da'utuhum li taghfir lahum jaalu asabi'ahum fi adhanihim, wa staghshau thiabahum wa asaru, wa stakbaru stakbara." In this verse, Nuh alayhi salam is complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of all the efforts he did in order to get the message of Islam to his people and all the resistance they gave to him. So he says that every time I would call them, every time I would invite them to your message, to your forgiveness, O oh Allah, they would put their fingers in their ears, they would hide behind their clothes and they were stubborn. Wa asarru. So asarru is usually translated as they were stubborn. But today I'd like to highlight asarru a little more. Asaru actually tells us a story. Asaru tells us the story of a seed. The farmer, it ta he takes the seed and he plants it in the ground. Now what does a seed require? A seed requires the right amount of water. So if you have too much water, the seed won't grow. And if you have too little, the seed won't grow at all. You also need sunlight. So if you give it too much sunlight, the plant will die. If you give it too little, it'll not have enough to grow. And it also needs the right kind of soil. So a plant that grows in Africa won't grow the same way in North America. So Asaru tells us the story of this seed and the farmer gives the seed everything it needs, the right amount of water, the right amount of sunlight, the right kind of soil, yet this seed is a stubborn seed. It refuses to grow. And so the, the example of this with Nuh salam, with the Prophet Nuh, is that this Prophet uses his prophetic methodology in order to convey the message. He does everything right. He checks all the boxes. Yet his people refuse. His people are stubborn. They're stuck in their ways. They refuse to believe in the message. And so Nuh, this is why he is complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the true translation of this verse is that every time, O oh Allah, I invited these people to you, to your forgiveness, then they would put their fingers in their ears. They would cover themselves with their clothes and hide. وَأَسَرُّوا They were stubborn despite a prophetic way of inviting them to the message. وَاسْتَكَبُرُوا استكبارا, And they were really arrogant. And so from this we learn that if we get any advice, then we should try our best to not be stubborn and we should try and implement this advice in our lives. So I ask Allah that He helps us to not be stubborn, that He removes any arrogance from our hearts, and that he helps us to appreciate and understand every single word of the Quran. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.